Now from class 8, most of the questions pertain to cell, uh, cell structure and the various organelles of cell. Uh, as we have seen in our previous classes, animal cell, plant cell, the difference between the two, just go back to the NCRTs that we have covered, you would have a clear idea. Now here, this question is not a direct question because you need to know each and every organelle. That's the first and the important thing. The second is, we need to understand which of them is correct. So here, uh, the question says identify the incorrect statement. So let's move step by step. So uh, organelle E, H, G and I. So let me understand E is the, uh, the endoplasmic reticulum. H here is the Golgi apparatus. G is the rhizosome. And uh, I, I again here is the, the smooth and the rough ER endoplasmic reticulum. Now these are all membrane bound structure that's correct and they have close coordination with one another because all of them are involved in synthesis of protein. So uh, again this statement is correct. F is an organelle, so this is mitochondria responsible for synthesis of cell. So mitochondria is the powerhouse of the cell. So B is incorrect, it's not responsible for contraction of muscles. A and B, so A is the cell membrane and B is the nuclear membrane. Both of them are selectively permeable. So again, this is correct. J is the site for protein synthesis. So write the structures on the endoplasmic reticulum, which is responsible for protein synthesis, the ribosomes. And it allows the hereditary message from D to get translated into protein. So from D, which is the chromatin network, you have the, uh, the DNA and that helps you translate the the message into protein and therefore the role of ribosome is important. So B is again correct. So B is the incorrect, the only incorrect option which is present. Now as I said, understand the cell classification, the various organelles carefully and you are all set with these kind of questions. Now this is another question, you have to identify this, uh, this organism. Now this microorganism is what is known as rhizopus or we can say the common what is known as black bread mold. Right? Now this black bread mold is what? You have to identify an incorrect statement. So it is a fungi that's correct. It is saprophyte that is again correct. As I already said it is known as bre bre uh, black bread mold. So A becomes correct. Now this is a fungi uh, that reproduces or this actually uh, reproduces through what is spreading here the spores. So the reproduction takes place through spores that is again correct and this is a mold that means it would lead to spoiling of the food and since it is called as black bread mold it would spoil the bread so c again is correct it is parasitic that causes diseases in plants animals and humans so of this only we can say um, plants is again incorrect animals is incorrect it's basically uh, a fungi that affects the, 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 the prepared versions, right? So it is basically a saprophyte uh, that's important and uh, it's, it eats on the decaying material. So uh, A, C, A, B and C are the correct option. D is an incorrect option here. So uh, we understand how we identify questions like this. Now a detailed understanding of fungi and its classification we have covered in our five kingdom classification of class 9. So don't miss that as well because when you are preparing for NSO level 2 it is expected that you are preparing for one level up that is one class above what you are studying in. So make sure you cover those topics carefully before you attempt your paper. Wish you very good luck and do follow the link below for more similar questions for practice material.